we have limit x tends to 2 square root of x plus 7 minus 3 times again square root of 2x minus 3 by cube root of x plus 6 minus 2 times cube root of 3x minus 5. Right. We have square roots. We have cube roots. At the same time, if you substitute here, right, 2 plus 7 is 9, square root 9 is 3, 2 times 2 minus 3, which is root 1. Here, cube root of 8 and here it is 3 to 6 minus pi cube root of 1. Okay. So, the numbers within this square roots or cube roots are looking decent. Just that we have square roots and cube roots. Let's do one thing. Let us do some basic algebraic manipulation and rationalize both of this. This is in the form of uh, a minus b. We'll do the a plus b also, but we'll multiply with this conjugate, right? We'll, that is a plus b, a plus b by a plus b. Similarly, cube root will multiply with its conjugate. So, for example, what we are trying to do, this one, root of x plus 7 minus 3 root uh, 2x minus 3, right? This is in the form of a minus b. We'll do a minus b is equal to a square minus b square by a plus b. Right. Basically, we are multiplying this um, a minus b into a plus b by a plus b. Numerator will become a square minus b square and denominator will become a plus b. Right. So, a square minus b square minus x plus 7 minus uh, 9 times 2x minus 3. Right. x plus 7 minus 9 times 2x minus 3 by this part root of x plus 7 plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Root of x plus 7 plus 3 times 2x minus 3. We have basically, we have done this. We have multiplied with its conjugate. Similarly, this is in the form of cube root, cube root a minus cube root b. Right. So, we know, so the, what is the conjugate? We know, we know a cube minus b cube is uh, a square plus ab plus b square. Right. So now, if we, if we assume this as a minus b, this is a and this is b, we can write this as a cube minus b cube or 1 by a minus b. This is in the form of 1 by a minus b. Right. This we can write it as a cube minus b cube a square plus a b plus b square. Right. a minus b is nothing but uh, a cube minus b cube by a square plus a b plus b square. Right. Right. So, we are basically, we are multiplying this with its conjugate. What is its conjugate? Cube root of x plus 6 whole square, that is x plus 6 whole power 2 by 3, plus this into this, that is a b, that is uh, 2 times cube root of x plus 6, x plus 6 whole power 1 by 3, uh, 1 by 3 times this one, right, plus uh, this whole cube, this whole square, sorry, a square plus a b plus b square, that is this conjugate. Then, if you multiply this conjugate with both numerator and denominator, we will get in the denominator a cube minus b cube. That is x plus 6 minus uh, 2 cube, which is 8 times 3x minus 5. Right, this is a cube root, right? What is the numerator? Numerator is a square plus 2ab plus b square. What is a? x plus 6 whole power 1 by 3. And what is b? 2 times 3x minus 5 whole power 1 by 3. Right. So, this whole square, 2 times 2 times 3x minus 5 whole power 1 by 3 of this whole square, which is nothing but 4 times 3x minus 5 whole power 2 by 3. Similarly, x plus 6 whole power 2 by 3, this cube, cube of this, sorry, square of this, x plus 6 whole power 1 by 3 whole square, that is equal to x plus 6 whole power 2 by 3. Fantastic. Now, we have multiplied the both, uh, both the terms with their respective conjugates. Now, let us try to simplify this. What will this become? This becomes x plus 7 minus 2 nines 18x uh, plus 27, which is nothing but minus 17x plus 7 plus 27, 34, which is nothing but minus 17 into x minus 34, right? That is our numerator, right? That is, that is this part. This part has become this one. Uh, now, the, uh, the denominator, uh, let it be as is. This, this is our cube root. This is 3 times under root 2x minus 3. Okay. Now, this part let as it is and uh, this part let us simplify. That is x plus 6 minus 24x plus 40, which is nothing but minus 23x plus 46, which is nothing but minus 23 into x minus 2. 
right? That is this denominator part. Okay, this part has simplified to this, and this part has simplified to this, and this part is as is, and this part is as is. Okay, now, now we can cancel this x minus 2 and this x minus 2, which is our concern. First all, we can directly substitute. This is x, x tends to 2. Rest all is as is. So, what are we left with? We are left with minus 17. We, now, we can directly substitute 2. Right. And there is uh, no 0 in the denominator. x minus 2 we have cancelled out. We can directly substitute 2. So, what we have got? Minus 17 by under root of 2 plus 7, which is under root 9, plus 3 times under root of 2 times 2 minus 3, which is under root 1. And this is 2 plus 6. 4 power 2 by 3, 8 power 2 by 3. 2 into, again, 8 power 2 by 3. And uh, 3 times 2 minus 5. 6 minus 5, which is into 1 power 1 by 3. It doesn't matter. Plus 4 times, again, 6 minus 5. Which is 4 power. Uh, 4 times, again, 1 power 2 by 3, which is nothing but our 4 only. Right, by minus 23. So, what we have got? Minus 17 by, this is 3, plus 3 again, that is 6. Minus, this minus and this minus will get cancelled. Minus 17 by 6. And 8 power 2 by 3. That is 2 power 2 cube whole power 2 by 3. Which is nothing but 2 squared, which is 4. And 2 power 8 power 2 by 3. This is again 2 into 2, which is 4. And plus 1 more 4, which is equal to total 12. And by 23, basically we have 17 into 12 by 6 into 23, which is nothing but 34 by 23. So the answer is 34 by 23. Simple problem. Only thing that we have to do is we have to ensure that we multiply with the respective conjugates. We have cube root x minus cube root y. We have square root x minus square root y. We have to multiply with their conjugates. Right. Or other way of looking that is we can write a minus b as a square minus b square by a plus b or a cube minus b cube by a square plus a b plus b square. We are using this here because there are cube roots. We are using this a square minus b square by a plus b because there are square roots. Right, yes. Thank you.